Hi, I'm Dipali Kulshrisht from Cloud Analogy, working as a Salesforce consultant slash technical lead for the past three to four years. Before showing the demo, let me quickly tell you something about Cloud Analogy. Our company, with a workforce of over 60 employees, works on Salesforce services regarding integrations with several third-party tools and also works on data migration. We have several apps available on App Exchange and have worked on 100 plus projects. These are the products we have Task and Notes, Timeline Manager, Drag and Drop, Multi Utility, Pin Tags, and Desk Sync. I am happy to share my experience with you all regarding one of my projects which required the following done. The company for which we worked is one of the renowned companies of the US. It deals with medical gas inspection. Basically, it helps an inspection of gas pipelines, suction regulators, and accessories. So, the company came us with a requirement to integrate QuickBooks with Salesforce. Right now, they use QuickBooks to record their invoices and products. Now, they need to have a much more simpler process and some additional functionalities to make their pr procedure easier. We created several zaps as a solution to accomplish this. Also, I would like to proudly announce that we have become a member of the Pledge 1%, a proud member. So in this video, first of all, we'll create an opportunity in Salesforce, which will create an estimate only when the stage is not equal to closed one. And the second one would be when we create an opportunity with a stage of closed one, it will create an invoice in QuickBooks. So let's look at the first one first. So let's create a new opportunity. We'll uh, select an account here as we have already created it. Let's select the close date and we can fill the stage. It should be anything other than closed one. So let's keep it needs analysis, the amount, and then we save it here. Here we will also add some products. Here we have a product here, so we'll add this product. You can fill in the quantity and then save. Now let's go to our zap. We have to run this manually since the zap will uh, trigger only after 15 minutes. So let's see, we have a new estimate and also our opportunity is updated. So let's go back to our opportunity. In the details, we have the invo uh, invoice number as the estimate number. That means the estimate has been created there. So here you can see we have this estimate created with the amount as well. So this is the product also which is reflected here. So now let's create an opportunity with the stage of closed one so that we can see an invoice in QuickBooks. can give the name as you can select the same account stage we need to give as closed one here we'll fill in the amount and we need to save let's also add an add a product here
quantity we will fill here okay so let's go back and then create our zap to run it Okay, so here we can see a new invoice is created in QuickBooks and the opportunity is updated with the ID. Let's go to our opportunity. Here we can see the ID is reflected here. So let's see the invoice created here. So here we can see that particular invoice here which is being created the same details and the product is here so also let, to let you know that we need to run it manually because the zap works only after 15 minutes so i hope you all like the video please let us know if you come across any kind of similar requirement we are always happy to help and contribute thank you